Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. We've got a little bit of backtracking to do, sort of. And we're gonna go and wrap up Cloudy Core. We got a hidden star here. Last time we weren't able to do it because we didn't have the cash monies. And sometimes you gotta pay your dues. So well, let's get our head out of the clouds. Parabells. But first, why not? You know, let's go ahead and give Luigi a shot. There's no real, like, I guess, planned way to do this. I just, I'm just gonna do it randomly. One of the things we will need, though, is a lot of coin. So, we're definitely gonna wanna do that. Probably somewhere in the realm of 30. So, if you can help me out with that, Luigi, that'd be amazing. Hopefully everybody's been having a good week. Weather is starting to finally warm up. Enjoying nice days outside. The only downside to the weather warming up, and this is gonna sound kind of like cynical, is that I get a little too hot. <laughs> You're gonna say like, well, D-Mike, you're just a big old baby. And you're right. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. And I still get those. Okay, hopefully they just stay there forever because <laughs> if I could long jump off this cube, that'd be amazing. All right, I can't see what I'm doing. I also really enjoy Luigi's iteration of the power-up hat. It's kind of goofy looking like Mario's is like straight up and down. Like an ice cream cone, but Luigi just kind of goes off to the side a little bit. Makes his head look kind of fat. You got your big old fat head. All right. So we don't quite have 30 yet, but we're getting there. Ooh, no. That was almost disaster. Okay. So let's ride our clouds away. Trying to be vigilant of any opportunity for coin. Whoop. There's a couple chances here. I'd like to crush this Goomba. Yes, and bounce our booty on this drum. It's getting us real excited. We love a nice fat beat. So there it is. There might be more here too. Oh, there's a lot. Okay, so we need 30. Just a hunch. And that looks to be all of them. And some star bits while we're at it. You know what? For good measure. Let's crash into this symbol. And get some star bits. Now as you can see, there is the hungry Luma down here. In this case, a coin Luma. We ignored it last time because we didn't have our finances in order. But this time around, you betcha. Let's go ahead and fill this bad boy up. He's so full. I don't think I've ever thought that way, but then again, I've also never had somebody pump giant gold coins into my stomach. Would love to find out, viewers, if you're interested in helping out, perhaps. Okay, so it looks like we're about to have an experience with some grape juice. So it looks like this area around us is full of toxic goo. We'll have to use our floaty jump to collect these silver stars. And wouldn't you know it, Cosmic Mario joining us for the adventure in the Grape Drank. Looks like every time we collect a star, it spawns another one. So just be mindful of that. We love a little bit of an extra challenge. Okay, there's another cloud power up. I missed the star over there, so we'll come back for it. I wonder if we can make it from just three. But we can. The long jump with the cloud power up is pretty incredible. Ooh, <laughs> this looks not great. And of course, the star is roughly the farthest point away from us. Ooh, that was dangerous. Makes me think of that purple coin chasing mission that you have to do. Part of the prankster comets. Oh no, what am I doing? No, what am I doing? 
<laughs> what on earth was that? He just kind of disintegrates. Oh my goodness, that's dark. Yeesh. Sorry about that, Luigi. Okay. Don't you love that when you basically have everything all wrapped up and then you just screw it up the last second? That never happens to me when I play these games. Okay. Oop. Okay. Well, there's definitely a gap between those clouds. You cannot apparently run between them. So lesson learned. Oops. We're now being mocked by the sign. I saw the sign and it opened up my eyes that falling into purple goo is a good way to die. Luigi is, I would say, allergic to purple drank, perhaps? He is not a fan of sip and scissor, so you won't find him doing that. Oh boy. That was close. Now we remember from last time, oh boy, I am hitting all the wrong buttons right now. Hopefully I have a way back. Through the platform, there it is. All right, so this feels a little, a little bit less bad. I'm gonna grab some safety clouds. And since we're doing it in this order, we won't have as far to go, although apparently I wasted one of my clouds accidentally. Ooh, all those juicy star bits, which we will certainly grab. Corpse money, oh boy, I'm wasting my clouds. This is bad, I only have one left. The suspense. Just kidding. Right. Bravo. Bravo viewers. First try. Well done. Yaha. That was a little uh little flamboyant. Yaha. We got a star. Feeling good. Okay, so that's the first star of the day. The hidden star. The silver star is in the purple pond. And a ghost has appeared. Oh boy. A ghost in Honey Halls? What? Because I don't know why they call it a ghost, but it is what it is. I also enjoy that every time that we do a mission where Luigi's involved, they have to give us that little cutscene. Hey, I'm here to do the thing that I've been here to do the thing. All right, so we've got a Haunty Halls prankster comic. Now the ghost appearing thing makes complete sense in this particular star. I can definitely vibe with it. So we'll do the spooky cosmic clone chase. I guess they refer to the cosmic clones as ghosts? I don't know. But we got our dry bone chompers. Star delicately placed right at the end. Soon to be chased by the uh, cosmic clone. The one downside to these levels when it comes to when it comes to star bits is I am, like I mentioned before, highly susceptible to distraction via star bit. There's a lot going on right now. <laughs> Not sure how I feel about this. This is kind of chaotic. Hang in there, guys. Hang in there. We'll get through it. I'm only gonna collect these star bits by touching them. Not shaking my wheel. Oh no! Oh no! Oh boy! Oh no! Ooh. Okay. Camera angle horrible. As it shifts from forward to backwards. All right. So that was that. That was a like a 30 second star. Good job for us. Now we can freely collect all these star bits that were teasing us all along. Not bad, not bad. That's two stars in 10 minutes. First tries on both. So good job, everybody. That was not too difficult. Usually the, the Lumas aren't. And the Pregster Comets, same as those. Not really too difficult. It's more a matter of how bad am I. Okay. So we do have a hungry Luma here, and he wants a thousand star bits, so... Wouldn't you know it. I guess we're gonna have to feed this chubby boy. And we don't have a thousand on us, so once again, time to go to the bank. Bank Toad, been helping us out. We're about to lose 
half of all of our savings. That's pretty unfortunate. And this, uh, whoop. Okay, good enough. A little bit of extra. He probably thinks he's getting a tip. He's not. All right. There we go. Enjoy your snack, boy. Or girl, or whatever you are. Oh, <laughs> that was not me doing that. A little trickle of star bit at the end. And what did we unlock? A galaxy has been created, and it is. Cubism? A little visit to the art museum, perhaps? Or museum, if you don't know how to say the word right? Okay. So this is... Eat block. Ooh, this one is... This one's a treat. We'll say that. Okay. So step to the beat. For all of you musicians out there, this one should be pretty easy. You'll get a little metronomic, is that a word? Metronome beeping you. Before the blocks will switch from one side to the other. Pretty solid heads up. Just make sure you're not on the wrong block when it's beeping around. And there's a lot of star bits in this one too, so that's pretty handy. This one in the same vein as like flip switch, not too bad. Oh, that's a, that's a goomber. Yeah, here, that's right. And if you think that this is difficult, well, you just wait because they found a very ingenious way of making this more difficult. And you're gonna be asking yourself, how is that possible? Well, they just speed it up. Who would have guessed? I'm gonna play a little conservatively here. Grab the Comet Metal. We're almost to the main platform, so I don't wanna goof it up yet. But using your Luma Spin, great way to not fall off. Okay, so far so good. Okay, well, I guess this isn't really as many starbits as I thought it was gonna be, but there are some hiding under the blocks, as you can see here. So try to grab those before you get too crazy. Do that. And your goal here is collecting five silver stars. I feel like that's pretty manageable, wouldn't you say? Ooh. The one thing you gotta be careful with, though, is there are Octumbas that are hiding around. I don't know if that's actually what those are called. And if they're not, well, that's too bad, because that's what I'm calling them. But that's five silver stars. This is gonna be another <laughs> a very light episode. I didn't realize these one-off stars were going to be so easy. Maybe I'm just feeling pretty epic today. Got him, bye. Let's backflip into it. Now that is epic. You'll go through these episodes if you're maybe binge watching all of them, as I would encourage you to do. It's one of the healthy things you can binge. This and maybe a bag of carrots. All the vitamins from D My Plays and from vegetables. What you'll learn is uh, ooh, a cutscene. A letter. Here we go. Challenge. Race, race, racing. Ooh, Jipper J must be a racist. Racing at Wild Glide Galaxy. Don't chicken out. Don't chicken out. Come on, don't wait. Don't wait, Jipper J. That sounds like he's threatening us, so... And you know what? Because this episode is short, and because how easily I was able to do that galaxy the last time, hmm... You know, it just sounds like I might have to go back and take on Fluzzard. Here we go. If you remember, I was telling you that this does get harder and way less fun. So here we go. The Jungle Fluzzard race. Race number two of Fluzzard. I think there was like three or four maybe. I don't know if there's like a, what the expectation is this time around, if I just have to be faster or, or what. But we're about to find out. There are more of these crazy little birds this time around. 
Race, race. Let's go, let's go. Ready, ready. Yeah, yeah. Fluzzard, how we doing? Doing great. And finally, just try me, just try me. I'm ready anytime. I'm the best there is. I never lose a race. Showdown, showdown. Don't think I'm some pushover. Okay, well, here we go. So I guess we have to race these guys? This is gonna be horrible? All right, so thankfully this time around, I don't believe that we have to worry about going through any gates. We just have to be faster than these bozos. The Jibber, Jibber J, I don't know if that's his or their name, or if that's the name of like the animal in its entirety. We're gonna try to follow his lead though. Whoop. Getting our tail feathers wet, whoop. Okay, so it looks like the southern path here it's pretty quick. Man, he's really f Oh, okay. Well, there's that. Nothing like drowning on your first attempt. Okay, again. One of the things that does make this specific situation... Oh boy, where am I going? My Wiimote is not... <laughs> oh boy. Nope. Nothing is, nothing is going right now. Okay. Ugh. My Wiimote was not cooperating. Yeah, this is one of those races where uh, you can't really pick up speed. You just gotta kind of go with the flow, with the wind. Because you can only dive bomb when you're up higher than the area you're going to. And you can't go too low. How low can you go? Well, about as low as the water, because if you go any lower than that, you will die. So, them's the rules. I don't know how on earth I'm supposed to be faster than him. Probably not running into stuff. That would definitely be a, a, a recipe for, okay. Well, we picked the right episode to have time left over. That's for sure, okay. I did like that, um, I did like that, that split path to the left. That seemed to be pretty good. You can kind of pick up some speed down here. Oh boy, nope. <laughs> we can. We didn't. Oof. Okay. Well, thankfully we've got a decent amount of lives in store for us. We don't have to worry about that. So we'll just try to pull out the last second and not bathe Fluzzard. I'm not really too concerned about Fluzzard's safety. It's more about my own mental well-being that I'm concerned about here. Having to do this race a bunch of times. Okay. I'm just kind of following him. Is that cheating? Oh. That is a bummer. I feel like that's not a poor... Not a poor method. There's just no real good way to... get ahead and stay ahead. You know how I feel about that. You have to kind of try to stay just above the waterline. There's no real way to get faster. That's the downside, and it's really grinding my gears here. Come on, Mario. Come on, Fluzzard. Let's do it. Oof. It's also tough to see what the hitbox of the water is going to be like. It's not super clear. There's like this nice little sweet spot when you tilt the Wiimote down where you can kind of feel that uh, the diving kind of like going quicker situation. Come on. Oh, oh, can we do it? Oh yeah, I think we got it. That's looking like a winner in a new time. Winner, winner, fluzzard dinner. That's right. You know what happens to people who aren't leaders anymore? They get sacrificed. So, I'm sorry, Jepper J. But, uh, you had your chance and you blew it. So, bye bye. The new head honcho of Fluzzard and Co. is Mario. We will proudly bear that mantle. Okay. As you can tell, we are not on the front of the. You're not on the uh, face ship right here. 
but we do get some more star bits and it looks like a cutscene. See, you brought us back a loud bird. You hear the tranquil song of the stars? Well, it's tough to hear it over that. Okay, so it is a jibber jay. I get it, because he's always jibber jabbing and jibbering. Okay, let's go visit the jibber jay. I don't remember where it was. Uh, where are you? Call out. Let's gamble. Fun. There he is. One star bit. A winner. Hello, Mr. Jibber J. Wow, what a great hint. I never knew that. Okay, excuse me. Let's go ahead and deposit our... The rest of our earnings with Bank Toad, and then we will call it a day. Some of these episodes will be shorter than others, but don't worry. There will be plenty where I am a massive failure, so... Good at math. That's, that's all it really takes to be intelligent, is just to wear cool, funky glasses. All right. So that was four more stars. Let's check our progress really quick on the billboard thing here. We've basically done as many as we can. So next time, we'll come back and grab the rest of them. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been Dean Mike. This has been Super Mario Galaxy 2, and I'll see you later. Bye.